Hello and welcome to a very silly video for Space Engineers. Yes, what we're doing today is something not very constructive because somebody asked me to try it. So Overpeak has said to please try the bullet train with a speed mod. So what I've done is I've added the speed of light mod and we're going to go round the track. If you don't know what the speed of light mod is, it removes the speed cap. So if I was to put my HUD on and start flying. And you see that it's not filling up at all on my little bar. I will just keep on accelerating forever and a day until either the game breaks or my computer just gives up. So we're going to go on the train, we're going to go around and just see how well it handles it. And then after, we're going to go around again, except this time, block destruction will be turned off. And then for the last little thing, I'm going to be placing some warheads on the track because somebody asked me to. So if you do have something that you want me to try out, do let me know in the description below and I'll get around to it. And of course, I do realise that I made a mistake in my previous video. Yes, Cobalt cannot be obtained from the survival kit. It was just a bad example on my part. If you are looking for Cobalt, you'll have to break out your ore detector and drill, start going after it like that. So without further ado, let's now just go all the way over to here. Bring up my HUD, I'm going to press I, control panel, find the remote control block, take control of it, undo the parking brake, press number one, and away we go. I will keep the HUD up there, just so you can see the speed. Word of warning, if you are going to be doing this yourself, a tiny little branch of a tree, and that's it, game over. I just spent the last 40 minutes removing trees from this track. I didn't get all of them, I'm hoping I got enough, but here we go. So just got to hop out of that seat, we don't need to use jetpack, 90 metres a second, 95, over 100, let's go over to the VIP area and take a little seat and see what happens. 120 metres a second, it's going down because I'm running against the speed. Let's go over here, hop in my seat, 130, 140, this was the area where I crashed last time, hopefully I have resolved the situation. 150 meters a second, 160, oh the game is not liking this, look at this barren area with just trees and no grass, all the stones, it is weird how they got rid of all the little ore patches but 190 meters a second and we're going to hit the first corners, how well is this going to go, I think it's going to go horrible, okay, oh, oh no, oh, oh no, <laughs> I was expecting that to happen. And there goes the train. I mean, part of it is still hanging on the track. It's relatively in one piece. But no, that's what's happened when you remove the speed limit and just let it go. It doesn't go very far. And it was kind of what I was expecting. So now what we're going to do is turn off block damage and go around again. So I've reset the world, disabled block destruction, and had to reload the game completely. Just in case you are using this world, you probably will find that if you load your saved game, the station completely disappears. Unfortunately, you will need to exit Space Engineers and reload it to get it back. That's the problem I've had, and that is what has fixed it. So, pressing 1, it's time to go fast, shall we? Just see how well this game is going to handle no block destruction, unlimited speed. Oh, almost forgot, we need to close the door. Safety first, everyone. Oh, this rickety, rickety little... Thing. Look at this shake everywhere. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. That isn't good. It shouldn't be freezing like that now. Um, I need something to set up my stomach. As you can see, it's a bit bumpy on the train. And I shall have it over onto the VIP area. Oh, that is a scary sight. Time to sit in my favourite seat. We are currently going 150 metres a second. Please refrain from sticking your arms outside the carriage as they'll probably tear off half your body if it catches something. That's not good. Come on, train. Oh no, it's that bloody tree that I forgot to remove again. We lost all our speed. But we're still going. <laughs> we're a bit wonky though. <laughs> the train is completely wonky. Hopefully this won't affect the speed too much. 
baby, we go around the corner. This is the moment of truth. If we can get around this corner without any issues, then we can just let it go to the end. Because that'll be fun. Then you can see the entire tracks. This track is massive. I didn't do it justice in my video. 130 meters. We're slowing down a little bit. Come on, train. Oof. Oh, dear. That did not seem good. We lost quite a lot of speed there. It's like it became a noodle. You know, like those Unity models where they just sort of like noodle out when you kill them? Like the weird ragdoll effects? Yes. Hopefully this is okay. I mean, it seems okay. Oh, no. Rotors. <laughs> Rotors are not stable in this game. It's like pistons. They will destroy your saved games. Fear the mighty pistons. So what speed are we going? 130. 140. No, wait, that's because I'm moving forwards, isn't it? Derp. Let's go see it in the actual cabin. Driver's cabin. 150. The game is not liking this at all. It really is. It really wants to break those wheels. This should be a nice long stretch for us to go down. Ninety meters a second. Hopefully, I have removed all the trees there so we don't get slowed down again. 110. Past the regular speed limit now. 130. 140. 150. I am waiting for something just to crash into us and the game will just give up. We are shaking a lot. What is going on here? That does not sound good. Look at the poor train. It doesn't know what it's doing. But we are slowing down. So unfortunately, we've had a small pickle. Where the train itself is, well, having a hard time staying connected because of this. So, goodbye train. We hardly knew ye. Hopefully with that gone, this can now settle down and start going fast again. Here we go. 60 meters to save. We're leaving that trailer behind. It is unfortunate I wanted to keep the trailer attached, but yeah, it, it's not going to work. So we're just going to have to use the little cockpit and hope for the very best. 160, 170, 190, 200, 220. Oh, Jesus. 240. 200. Oh, oh dear. Oh, that's not going. Oh. That is something else. What has happened? So let's take remote control of it again. Oh. Okay. So here we go again. I think we're just going to run into the same issue once more. We are drifting. Drifting a little bit. I'm so scared. If we hit a tree, I think the game is just going to crap out. 230 meters a second. 250. Ha. Huh. I do believe that could have been the trailer catching up to us. Or not. I've somehow... Wait, what has gone on here? So they are the wheels. They are the wheels there. And I have somehow got a wheel up there. Incredible. So to finish this off, we are going to blow up the train and the station. 
and because of how magical Space Engineers is, I expect this to go absolutely flawlessly. So each train has got mini warheads all inside it, the station itself has large warheads all around it, all set to a timer. So I'm going to trigger the timer, run over to here, get in the train and try to escape before it goes off. So I'm going to find this, find my warhead block, and we're going to start the countdown. Now we have a lot of time, so I can perhaps just look at this sign, go down and get a drink, but I might just go over here, close this door. Uh oh. Let me in. Let me in. I, uh, 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 remote control. Parking brake, go. We have to get out of here. Oh, this is not going to go well. I've taken too long here. There we go. I had plenty of time. But now it's time to say goodbye to the train. So let's go find the warhead block for this one. Warhead. We're going to start the countdown. So off we go. Turning that off, we're going to view the train as it majestically blows up. Oh dear. Ha, huh, that didn't go as planned. Oh well. But here it shall end the journey of the mighty train. Or not. What a convenient twist to this story. <laughs> now, Due to the explosion of the train and hitting that tree, we appear to have a small problem, but we are going 270! Oh dear. Uh, it's still going. We're, we're, oh. we're still going! 100 meters a second, what even is this thing now? You know what? This is the future. This is how all trains should be designed. Blown up by warheads, hit by trees, failed to go around corners, going 200 meters a second on a very unsturdy map. Oh god, the game is not liking this. 240, 250. And a sudden stop. <laughs> oh, space engineers.